Hi, it's Warren Hewitt here. Hope you're doing marvellously well. Um, what I'm going to do today is install the virtual instruments on Pro Tools Express, which we installed in our last episode. And uh, I'm just going to open them up and just make sure everything works and uh, have a little test. Go to producelikeapro.com. Um, please sign up for the email list. There's loads of, there's some great stuff on Vimeo, which you can check out where we do um, expanded versions of drum recording, of piano recording. There's files for you to download. There's all kinds of fun stuff. And also if you, um, and we're doing a lot of giveaways as well. We went to NAMM 2015, there's tons of giveaways and we'll always be doing giveaways. So uh, please go and sign up on the email, email list at uh, producelikeapro.com. Thank you very much. Okay, let's install uh, the virtual instruments on Pro Tools Express now. So let's go to avid.com. Okay, so we're going to log in with our Avid Master account info. For the Americans, that's Avid, Avid Master account info. Okay, obviously this has already got my email and password saved. Um, click My Products and Subscriptions. And then we're going to go to uh, Pro Tools Express. And you'll see the Virtual Instruments link. I'm on a Mac, uh, so I'm going to click to download the Mac one. Okay, after downloading, I open the installer. Double click the install Avid Virtual Instruments Express. Okay, so we've downloaded and installed the virtual instruments. So we're going to open Pro Tools Express. Um, I'm gonna use a, a little Akai keyboard I've had for a couple of years here. So on my old laptop here, I've only got two USB outputs. So I'm gonna use a little USB hub here and uh, plug in the iLock. I'm gonna get my old school Akai here and plug that in as well. And plug those both into one of the two USB outputs on my laptop. Okay, great. Ooh, what a mess. Okay, great. So let's open up Pro Tools. Okay, so let's create a blank session. So let's. Okay. Okay. We'll save it onto the desktop for the time being. Okay. Shift Command N, new track. Let's go. We can have an instrument track. We'll make it stereo and create and see what we've got. Okay. So we've got multi channel instruments. See if there's anything under multi mono, just a click. Okay, so multi channel instruments, we've got boom, which is kind of fun. It's basically like an 808, to be honest. Um, put on the headphones. It's cool. I've used this quite a lot, actually. It's it's you could build your own beats pretty simply by just you got a kick. It's telling you where every kick is here, where the snares are, and you can just simply add a snare like this. Very straightforward. It's it's basically the same idea as an 808. Um, if you got an 808, that was how you were programmed it, basically. Um, 
see what it's doing there, it's doing for different velocity. So if I just click it once, it's super loud. If I bring it down like this, you'll see what I mean. It's kind of cool. So that's like, there's off, there's very loud, there's slightly quieter, and there's like a little implied one. And it's going to have tons of presets in it. It's fun. Um, I really like it. I like the fact that you can just start playing something and writing a song to it. Maybe we'll do that in a future video. Okay, great. So that's Boom, which is cool. Um, we've also got Structure Free, um, which I believe, I don't use it that much, but I know a lot of people like it because they can drop their own sampled sounds in there. Here's the patches up here. If we go here, we've got different drums. So we could do kind of a... Cool. So, you know, you could start up a click track, a MIDI track, and then we could just kind of play along with that. Um, there's tons of different sounds in here that I love. Um, there's loops and things. I mean, it's great for free. This is awesome, you know. Just comes with it. Let's have a look at Techno Stadium. See what that is. Great. Pretty massive pad. Um, funky Sync Lead. Kind of fun. I like all the delays and stuff that come on it as well. Um, finger bass, detune bass, hybrid plucked woody bass. I mean, there's there's tons of different sounds in here. So see what the hip hop stuff is like. So I'm going down the octave here. Kind of cool. All right. So there's tons of fun stuff in uh, in structure. You could build a track with that pretty easily. But my favorite one that comes with uh, Pro Tools, that's been coming for a few years actually, is Expand. Um, a good friend of mine, Dave, um, does a lot of stuff in England, very successful producer, and he uses Expand almost on everything. I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, look, these are all the soft pads. Here are the bright pads, action pads, pad layers, percussive, polysynths, Synth brass, soft leads, hard leads, ambience and effects, acoustic piano, electric pianos. Electric pianos are pretty good, but acoustic pianos aren't exactly their forte. Um, this is all about kind of synths and things like that. Um, organs, the organs are good. Uh, clavinets, there's a whole bunch of clavinets there. Strings, again, strings are, strings are pretty good. I mean, you just have to write the part to fit it. You know, here's, if you go to piz, pizzicato strings, it's got the octave. You know, you could you could have a pretty effective string arrangement if you go through. Or, or, you know, and just build it like that. The only issues I ever really have are like, if you've got solo cellos, it's really hard on any sample to get a really, really good solo cello. Um, these aren't the best um, strings that you can get for the money, but considering this software is about a hundred bucks, it's pretty amazing. Now the vocals here, um, these are probably, let's have a quick listen. Uh, let's go R pad choir, choir pad, let's have a listen to that. Pretty nice. Again, you can do a lot with just these. I mean, uh, guitars, they're never going to be exact because, of course, you know, um, guitars are so much more expressive than, a, than a, a keyboard ever could be, you know. 
because you can do so many more things with it. But um, ethnic, let's have a look here. We've got an ocarina. <laughs> Interesting. So a whole bunch of different sounds. Um, basics. Let's have a look. I like mono synths. Fun. So look, tons and tons of sounds. And with the wonderful world of MIDI, you know, a guitar player like me can sit here and program stuff and then tie it all up. We can get into all of those kind of stuff. So but there's a quick overview of the uh, of the sounds here. Again, like I said, I really like Expand. I'm a kind of a big fan of this. It's, it, it, you know, open it up, find the sound you like, twist it a little bit, and then, you know, you could mess it up a bit. Go to Dynamics. Uh, sorry, go to Harmonics is what I meant. We could distort a sound. You know, you could really have some fun with it. Put some delays, put some reverbs on it, and you've got your own unique sounds. So that was installing the virtual instruments on Pro Tools Express. So please go to producelikeapro.com and you can sign up for the email list and you'll get um, free files to edit. Um, some of the files that we're using in the videos, you'll actually get access to and you can edit. You'll also get to see our, go to our Vimeo page where you'll be able to see uh, videos on um, drum recording and uh, piano recording. It's a lot more expanded than some of the shorter videos we have here. Um, also, there's tons of free giveaways that we're always doing, you know, for free equipment, um, a lot of the stuff that we use. Um, so please sign up for the email list, um, subscribe, and uh, we'll do another video where I basically open up this stuff and start recording and just like the rest of us, just record a song from scratch, just write and record something there and then. So um, thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you have a marvelous time recording and um, I'll speak to you soon.